We have news today from BMW, and this is especially exciting news for riders that live in places like we do here in Colorado. Yeah, the uh, adventure bikes from BMW are some of the most popular motorcycles we see around here on the roads, and we've got some new options for you. Not the top dog, uh, top of the line GS bikes, but some of the more entry level and mid-range models have some pretty big updates. So this is a new 2024 BMW F800 GS, F900 GS, and F900 GS Adventure. And one of the big news items here is that they're actually running a new motor. So it's got an 895cc inline twin between all three models with more power and more torque than before. But there's a few differences with the different powertrains on these models that we'll get into. Yeah, and there's a ton of other things like features, new tech and all that stuff. But by far, like Case said, the biggest change is the motors in these bikes. And they were the motor because like you said, they all use the, the same motor just with a little bit of different tuning. So let's jump into some of the changes. And I guess I'll start by telling you what used to be powering this bike, which was an 853cc engine. Uh, and in the 750 GS, it made about 77 horsepower. In the 850 GS, it made about 90 horsepower. And both the new F800 and the new F900 get pretty significant power bumps. So the new F800 is almost as powerful as the old F850. So the F800 now makes 87 horsepower, 67 pound-feet of torque. And the F900 is making 105 horsepower, 69 pound-feet of torque. And a cool thing about the new F900 is that even though it's more powerful now than it used to be, it actually weighs 30 pounds less than it used to, about 483 pounds. But if you go for the GS Adventure version of the F900, you're gonna add some weight because it's got a lot of extra features. Yeah, uh, still though, I mean, 30 pound weight reduction is super impressive, especially when you're gaining that much power. I mean, yeah. going you're, you're gaining 15 horsepower and losing 30 pounds, which uh, you're definitely gonna be able to feel if I had to take a guess. And also uh, worth mentioning that there's a slight difference in fuel capacity with this new bike compared to the outgoing one, but you're only down uh, a 10th of a gallon. So it's not like they cut the fuel tank size in half to achieve this massive weight gaining. It's a tiny bit smaller, but it's really nothing you're gonna notice as far as range goes. Now, tech is also another big feature that's new for these adventure bikes. You've got a 6.5 inch TFT and a lot of standard features so the F900 now gets a new LED headlight. You've got standard heated grips. You've got standard ride modes. And the standard modes are just rain and road. But if you do want to opt for some extra tech, you can get the optional ride modes pro, which gets you a riding mode dynamic, a riding mode enduro, and a riding mode enduro pro. And you also get ABS Pro and traction control standard, which is pretty nice. Yeah, a lot of standard stuff there. Also optional is drag torque control and keyless ride, so you don't need to have a physical key with you. Um, BMW, I say this every time we do a news video about a, a new BMW bike, they're kind of the kings of packages and loading things up, and you can configure these however you want. So we're not going to go through all the different packages you can add. There's way too many of them. But yeah, take a half hour. Yeah, you, you could go on BMW's site and sort of spec things out and see what packages get you what features. A lot of optional extras that you can go for, but still some more cool features that you do get standard. If you opt for the F900, you get a standard Akrapovich pipe, which is pretty sweet. And the GS Adventure, of course, is also going to get you a lot of luggage racks and additional goodies bolted onto it that's going to make it potentially a, a more rugged and capable off-road bike. Yeah, and looking at some of the components on this bike, uh, suspension has been pretty drastically improved upon. So the F900 has new fully adjustable Showa forks. They're 43 millimeters in diameter and they're inverted forks, fully adjustable. The F800 gets the same 41 millimeter forks uh, that was carried over from the previous uh, generation, but you do get a new swing arm on the 900. And something pretty cool is, I said we weren't gonna go through all the packages, but there is one which is an optional Enduro Pro package for the F900 GS, which gets you 
Uh, a sportier suspension, two millimeter larger diameter forks. They're actually a little lighter weight than the standard fork, even though they're bigger uh, and more rigid and you get a new rear shock as well. So they say it's 25% more adjustment and 20% more damping than the standard suspension package. And that Enduro package also gets you some black handlebars with forged risers, which is nice to have, but for sure the most exciting thing there is the suspension. So if you're gonna ride really hard, if you expect to fly this bike relatively often, then that Enduro Package Pro is probably gonna be a nice feature to have. And that was one package that stood out to us. Yeah, so I think we gotta get into pricing on these bikes now, and they're right around the corner. So um, we'll start at the, the lowest end of the spectrum with the F800 GS MSRP of $10,495 for the entry level. Yeah, and if you wanna save some weight and have some of that extra power, going for the F900 GS is going to run a minimum of 13,495. And finally, if you wanna go for that F900 GS Adventure with some of those extra off-road goodies, it's gonna be 14,195. So they're not inexpensive bikes, but you are getting a lot of tech, you're getting a lot of features, a good amount of power, and this is just going to be really a very versatile motorcycle, especially again, if you live in an area like we do out here in the Rocky Mountains, bikes like these are pretty awesome bikes to have. So could be a price worth paying. Yeah, and especially for that GS Adventure, I definitely expected a little more of a price gap between the, the standard F900 GS and the Adventure model. You're looking at 700 bucks basically to upgrade to that, yeah. uh, to the Adventure model. So I think that'll end up being pretty popular and Early Q2 2024 is what BMW is targeting. So you should be able to get these pretty quickly. So these are bikes that we have to look forward to. Hopefully ones that we'll get to throw a leg over once the snow clears here in Colorado. It'd be really nice to ride it here in our home state. And that's all for now. Yeah, check out alltfl.com and we'll catch you in the next video. A lot more bike news to come in the upcoming months. And before we know it, we'll be back into riding season.